You got this. I believe in you. Huh? I'm just telling you. What if you're on RIT? Again, I am not hearing that. Wait, sorry, what's your tag? Wait, sorry, how do you how do you spell that? I don't know why we don't have you. Oh there it is. Sorry, I just missed you. to get his first hit here. Thankfully not getting JV4. Roy has been 
expertly navigating it. Not taking that wouldn't say expertly. He's been doing well. Yeah, but he's not been taking a ton of damage to a lot of players, especially very, very myself. Like this, like... Uh, unfortunately, trading with King Dedede out till getting forced back on stage, but he shouldn't have been... Yeah, that's all King Dedede does, it's his entire kit, actually. Fun yeah. fact, King Dedede is a very bad character, but he just gets away with edge guard and characters. This game is so well balanced that even the very bad characters... Can play. Gets the upper with Max Rage, killing King Dedede at 110. We are indeed biased here. And the back air gonna finish out that game. Taking two stocks, but it looked, it looked pretty dire for him, so that was a very great showing from Roy. I will be honest though, the BDD was really good when I just came in that game play. Oh, absolutely not. And he was a very good player. He still is a very good player. Let, don't let our biases take away from the fact that all, all the players playing today are immensely talented and put a lot of time into the game. Which does make them believe, but you know. That's another new order. there. Well, we're commentating these dudes, so what does that say about this? Yeah, we're even worse. Yeah, we're somehow worse. Sassy! Yeah. Here we're gonna see Kenneth, resident banjo player. Slightly cringe for that, but you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna let it full slide just for this think, once. How do you think this matches? I think it's bad for DDD to get a banjo kid. Um I think Kenneth can take his one stock, and that's what we're hoping, right? I really hope I didn't just curse him by saying that, but I think that he has his, his chances in taking his one stock. Sam, you want to come, come commentate? I don't know. I'm so bad at commentating. I'm sorry. Do you think I know? Do you think I do you you think think either of us? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think either of us commentate? Yeah. I do. Do you, think, do you well, enjoy your commentary? Totally <laughs> <say that. laughs> My is professional. It's, it's not, not our fault that you're stupid. <laughs> that's true. That is true. Clearly, you don't have eyes if you think that we know what we're doing up here. We're just saying things. I'm actually like playing blind. So. Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, your little brother was playing that game? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah he, but he still took two stocks, and that was very impressive. All right, here we're going to see Green DDD versus Default Banjo. Living in the cringe that he's playing Default Banjo, not going to lie. turn on the fucking stream. The stream is on. I just was looking at the TV screen. Well, I, can't, I don't have a good angle. No, oh, that's your fault. I mean, to do my statistics. I'll comment it. Why you're so fucking lame? Jesus Christ. Do you have a problem? Yes. Why? Because you're doing your statistics homework on the mic. You're a fucking loser. One to partake in this game, thankfully. Only one. He's so unbelievably confident that he can win this game in one stock. He SD'd twice at the beginning. Bold strategy. See if it plays out for him. That's just a mark of how good he is. Yes, sir. It's just like as a person and a competitor. Yeah. We'd love to see that. Let's match up. A lot of camping happening here. Bands are just pressing down me over and over again. Dedede just not having an answer for it. Kind of like snake vines, just worse. Snake grenades, sorry. Side being virtual, I don't think he intended to do that, but maybe. It's just a tactical strategy. Scordo getting knocked away from other grenades, making this a very hard matchup for DDD to get anything done. Scordo being a main way of him approaching. A lot of sucking, a lot of sucking is happening right now. Not in the good way. Right there. Continually sucking up those grenades, trying to fire them back, kind of not falling for it. However, the most interesting about, thing about this game, the most interesting thing about this game being the fact that people enjoy this. Hey, I mean, there is a certain amount of strategy that goes into a game like this, even if it might not be interesting to someone like me and you. It is certainly hard to position yourself. Here comes the up tilt, not quite enough to finish. Again, just yeah, well, obviously, you don't need to say that. Oh, getting edge trapped by the banjo here. 
177, just one up tilt will do it. Side B. One up tilt, one fair, one, panic, side one side B. It's all Kenneth needs to find in, in this game. Just to, to not lose a stock and keep this crew out of even. Kenneth is extremely good at this character in general. Most people don't play this character because he's fucking cringe, but Kenneth looks around, works around that and makes him look kind of cool. Knocking the Gordo back, not enough to kill yet. Unfortunately, Benjo's up air will not kill at any bit, so DDD just stays above him. He cannot kill him. Having to use another Wonder Wing to get back to stage. And he gets trapped by those Gordos, making it very hard for him to get back to stage. Words cannot state how little I care about Banjo or DDD. <laughs> oh, the Gordo taking the stop. The DI may be not being quite optimal there. And he goes for the cheese, not quite getting the stock yet. DDD at 200. Banjo struggling to kill like he always does. Side B in neutral again. We're seeing this from Kenneth a lot. It's this panic option. It's go to. He's got this though. And he is more than qualified to win this game. Can we see one up tilt? That was almost fucking sick. Yeah, this is just brutal to watch. It's alright though, Kenneth is doing a great job still and he really can just, there it is, the back air of the lights killing. Unfortunate last stock there, but Castellia playing it expertly and getting an up smash out of shield. What's your tag? What's your tag? Castellia. Okay. She's not in here, so we're gonna have to write her name in. Shut the fuck up, tree car. Stay in your lane. How they do. They have a pretty sick shirt on. Actually, a sick outfit in general. Lots of tie dye. Very, very cool outfit. Well, that's a funny joke, but you shouldn't say stuff like that on commentary. <laughs> Versus Banjo, All not right. the most interesting. A lot of cutscene, a lot of camping happening here. Truly characters that most people don't care to watch, but we are going to be forced into watching them there. Cutscenes and camping, the top two C's of the day. <laughs> Straight out of the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> two, one. Go! And we are off the laser already. Classic from Falco. Double what up tilt. <laughs> Double up tilt, as we always see from every Falco player imaginable. Down throw, misses the up tilt, getting the back air. Kenneth doing a sick confirm, one of Banjo's coolest by far. The reflector gonna make this matchup a little hard for Kenneth though. Gonna, gonna struggle getting his mind there, his grenades in. There's not been a ton of cutscening yet, but we'll, we're sure to see it soon. If not in this game, the next game. The grenade's giving kind of ample space to try and get back to stage here. Unfortunately, he's getting walled out by ZG, getting, making it very hard to, to, to even contest, really. That fair on ledge making it very, very difficult. Those guys are idiots, and they shouldn't be doing that. Uh, an unfortunate up there. Oh, 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 Kenneth thought he was dead. Unfortunately, he died to his own grenade. 
not what you wanted to see out of Kenneth here, but it's all right. Some days you're the poo poo, and other days you're the pee pee. Uh, today, Kenneth was the poo poo, unfortunately. Next, we're going to see Broccoli, our resident Terry player. Kind of, kind of a cringe character as well, but it's less cringe than Banjo, so that's fine by me. Ever say something so mean to my fellow co commentator that I definitely don't hate. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen you before in my life. Why'd you get up at 12 30 I was up since 10 a.m. I just in your bed watching YouTube videos. Yeah, I just laid in my bed watching YouTube right. for like two and a half hours. I think this matchup is I have no idea what I think this is a pretty even matchup actually because both of them have to get in close. Hopefully, Getting camped by laser will be too bad for Broccoli here, but thankfully Falco's laser is really not that good. Thankfully Falco's laser really doesn't do too much damage. It's not like Wolf Laser where Terry just gets camped out super fucking hard and it's not fun to watch at all. Terry starting strong here, getting double up tilted unfortunately. The cutscene has begun. <laughs> And the drag down into the up air. ZG showing that she very clearly has the ability to do combos with this character. However, Terry does not need to do combos because he costs six dollars and Falco does not. He goes in the base game and that is an unfortunate turn of events for him. Using that laser to disrupt off stage, making it very hard for Terry to get back on. Side me doesn't go for the back air because it's too high percent. Can we see a Buster Wolf out of Broccoli here to take an early stock? Unfortunately, no. We definitely can't see that because he's dead now and does not have go meter anymore. <laughs> it's really unfortunate for Broccoli because he really could have used that go meter. <laughs> but getting off ledge can be pretty tough. And another cutscene has started. No quick time events this time, though. Cutscenes, you mean. Cutscenes. To call them combos is a little bold. It's not like it's most really like anyone could do them. They're just cutscenes. They play themselves for you. <laughs> uh, the up tilt into the down air. Tough really, one to hit. Really milking this up air. Oh, man. Almost as much as Warner Brothers is milking their Tolkien corpse. Well, you know, they do tend to be doing that. Broccoli struggling to get anything done. Gets the strong up tilt, I think. I don't, I don't really know what that is. Maybe that's Terry's up smash? Why? Why, why do you need to speed? And he gets down aired on stage. ZG losing one stock, taking three. Duel and Sassy left against four players from RIT. It's going to be rough. We're gonna see either Duel or Sassy coming in. We're not really sure who it's gonna be yet. All right, we're going to see Duel come in, the resident Rosa player. I'll take your spot. <laughs> Again, I don't think I'm actually doing that tonight. That's probably a tomorrow thing. See, but like, I don't think that's happening because we're going to hear that. It's Let's go! Why would I move over for you? Only people with significant others are around on this casting table, so I'm both sorry. of you have to leave. She goes to a different school. I'm sorry. One significant other? Imagine not having all of them. Nobody has all of them. That's a stupid comment. Try again for next time. Where is my wallet? Should I just get a coffee? Uh-oh, somebody dropped it. 
I bet it's just sitting by all of his other stuff because he's an idiot and forgot he put it. Okay, I'm taking his spot. Yeah, you should take his spot. He really wasn't contributing to the commentating almost at all. Yeah, he, he does have a rather large ass. Same. You want to look? I don't want to look. Well, no, just like... That is a pretty thick dumpy. You I know, really right? caked up here. We're, we're failing to see a player from the U of R side. I thought it would be dual, but I don't know where he is. He's over there testing. Send me in, coach. Uh, do they know that they didn't send me? I mean... He's right there. Ethan! So, now that we've got some spare time, what's your sign? Oh, here comes Ethan. I thought you knew that you were playing. Oh, uh, resident Rosalina and Luma player. Leaving Rafi alone at the mic, maybe not the best plan. Yeah. Because I know that he's crippling anxiety about being left alone. I don't actually know that. This is just something I've made up right now. Because it was you're a loser and we don't want you here. Oh. I don't need to move over because I'm the only one actually wait, wait, speaking. Wait. Either of you guys rap like freestyle? No. We're not doing that. No, we're not doing that right now. Is it really it's called like, rapping for Jesus? No, 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 no. It's like, As they say, my crew is big. Three, two, one, go! Off we are. Rosa versus Falco. Again, cutscene versus cringe. Can the other one beat the other? I can't really see it, but I'm just gonna assume it's really good. Sorry, I forgot to tab back in. I was just Apologies looking at for Ben being our resident idiot. I was looking at the screen. Hey, I'm doing almost all of the work back here, and you're doing nothing. I'm so doing. I don't. I'm really doing care. some work. Yeah, yeah you're just not is. doing work for the stream at all. They, Rosalina is wearing white. That's racist. It's not. It's, it's an observation. Oh, the back air from Falco coming well, out, man. This is. Z G is really tearing the U of R team apart. Taking seven stocks already. What is that? The oh. Asphalt, the F-Smash from Luma, Luma. The F-Smash from Luma taking Falco right out of his recovery. Don't know if there's any disjoint there. Starbits is a move. I don't know how you forgot that that was a move. This is, this is your main. Yeah, I forget that. Your main, actually. That's definitely not Rosa's best move. Not even close. It's like, but like definitely not her best. What is her best, though? Probably down air. It invalidates like half the cast. Is it really? Yes. That smash is pretty good too. I don't know. I just assumed it would be down air because it invalidates Ridley and that's the character I play. So. That's a side thing because you can move Luma. Oh, it's a neutral beat. A neutral beat, yeah. Side beat for Starbucks. Whichever one looks Show, Showing the world that you have no idea what you're talking about. Well done, Shaker. I have not played Ethan in years. In my years, I mean like three months. By three months, he means he probably wow, played him twice. yesterday. I did not actually. I know. You cut scenes. Yeah, not say. I mean, Luma, Rosa being a pretty hard character to cut scene, seeing that you have to deal with Luma and Rosa at the same time. Uh, Falco likes to really, really likes to up tilt and then just not oh, let you play the game. Yeah. Unfortunate for Ethan here, not taking his third or not taking. Not losing one stock, instead losing two. Oh. Um, Shut the fuck up. Die. Oh. Uh oh, here comes the cutscene. Uh oh, here comes the cutscene. He's already getting it. Thank you. And that cutscene leaves him at 57%. Which won't really matter if, if he's able to seal the deal. See, right but now, this but definitely but does matter oh, because look, he's. This Peter Jackson best best looks a bit underwhelming. He, it definitely does matter because both of them are at a percentage where they could die. One up tilt back air is very scary for Rosa at the ledge here. So he's just got to avoid that risky happening. by Ethan. Falco's back air here is killing very early. Luma. Luma getting the, the hit. Assist. 153 on Falco. A lot of things will kill at this point, but we are not seeing that. There we go. The Rosa up smash. Luma taking the hit. Duel taking the game, losing two stocks, unfortunately. ZG taking eight stocks, which is just crazy. Scores 4-9, and 
U of R is struggling. Guys, you guys want to make a prediction on what the next level color is? What? Like, like, the white skin is all over you. I should not I did nothing but empty. Fine, no, I'll be empty. Green, too. I was going to say green, too, yeah, but I'm going to say red. I'm going to say red. Good luck to our competitors. Yes. We are impartial. We are impartial, except I'm definitely rooting for U of R because I go to that school. Me too. Actually, if anyone from any other school wants to come and help commentate, we'd love to have four people on commentate. Yeah, yeah. Four people. Absolutely. No, we, we really can't. Oh, wait, We're wait, already what? struggling to fit three. You abandoned them. Yeah, my bad. You're absolute kill. Imagine they win, though. You're not supposed to say that about your crew. Imagine they win. <laughs> Like he wasn't a part of them losing. Hey, if we win together, we lose together. That's all I gotta say. If we win together, and oh, we're we gonna lose. see a Krom come out. Might be a rough matchup for Rosa, right? You're the resident Rosa player. How do you feel about the Krom matchup? It's not easy. I'm yeah, I didn't think so. I don't like Krom. I do like Krom. He's kind of cool though. I think Krom is extremely entertaining to watch, and you're just wrong. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Let's see who's right. Let's see who's right. Mom, the tactical Mom. SDing. It's very yellow. good from Ethan. Three, Three two, one, <laughs> go! Oh, Sorry. Duel, it's a duel. duel. My duel. bad. Not Ethan. Not Ethan. I duel. don't know who Ethan is, even. I've never met an Ethan. No, I've never met an Ethan in my life. It's not like there are two of them in this room right now. Can you name a fictional Ethan? Uh, I was gonna say Ethan Hawk. Ethan Bradbury? Ethan who? Ethan Bradbury. I'm kidding. That, that's, that's a real person. You know the meme? I'm, I'm Ethan Bradbury. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't remember that? Are you too much of a Zoomer to not know I that? I'm very younger than you guys by a year. Yeah. A whole year. Actually, you're two years younger than me. Wait, wait, what year were you born? 2000. Oh, yeah, that is two years. I'm 22. I'm a junior, but I've been. This is my fourth year because I missed half of a year. Oh, that's okay. My friend also missed half a year. Yeah, it sucked, but I'm still recovering from it. It's really not fun. But anyway, the downer from Rosa here gonna be really hard to make make it really hard for Prom to recover. Red Luma, I was wrong with my blue prediction, unfortunately. Yeah, but that's because green doesn't exist. And part of the dress. Blood, like we're seeing. Yes. Getting cheesed by the crumb. Classic mistake from Duel. Honestly, not surprised. We're seeing it from him. Seeing him. He's a sloppy player. Jay's shirt is absolutely fantastic. Jay's shirt really making him look like a weeb. Not really sure how to feel about that. Love your shirt. He loves your, he loves your shirt. I'm like less. I'm more impartial. Shut the fuck up, Robbie. <laughs> no one wants to hear you set? speak. <laughs> Next up, we have Sassy. <laughs> we have Sassy who wears the same cool shirts every day of his life. Opa! Ay, caramba! Vamos ver. The day that Sassy does not go four days without wearing jeans and a sweatshirt is the day that my heart stops beating. The day that Sassy... Actually, I don't want to risk my life. Ben's heart stops beating. The day that Sassy's hood comes off is the day he loses every single game. Of oh, Smash and Please. I'm gonna see the default controls coming out. Real Chad move from Sassy Flygon. This crom is really good, but I gotta say something that really pisses me off. It's the ugliest skin in the You know what really grinds my yeah, gears? Like the fucking golden crom skin. That really grinds my gears. The blue one. Is I'm noticing sick. both of the tags here are Luigi. One of these players is lying to the whole audience. Sassy getting the down throw, almost getting the zero to death, side being on accident. I'd like to think. And then getting the up beat anyway. It's really funny how if this was anyone who didn't go to U of R, I'd be intensely annoyed. But because it's Sassy Flygon, he's not gonna get the zero to death again. Racking up tons of damage though. Prom using that sword to just try and wall Sassy out though. Making it very hard for him to get yeah, Luigi's range is not his specialty, but his grab and position. Down throw into up B. 
A patented slashy flag. A patented slashy flag on Strat. Definitely not coined by Elegant. Where is Boom Chakalaka on MD4? You can keep that to yourself. No one here wants to hear it. <laughs> What's your tag? Thank you. They wiped us out. All right. We believe we're impartial, so we don't really believe in anybody. But if there was a player named named Michael who happened to play Luigi right now, who would be? Yeah. But unfortunate that we don't know any players named Michael. However, Sassy Flygon getting ready to go into this next game. <laughs> Three stocks left. Still did not lose any in his last match. Huh? It was just there already. No, I'm pretty sure it's just a steal. Change the steam. I don't really want to change it until I see him lock a character, because the Shulk might be there for a reason. That might have been an old man. I'm going to be honest, Sassy's really good at this game, so I'm trusting that he'll be fine. I believe in Sassy. I believe in him too. Why would you do that? How fucking dare you? So you just lied straight to our face then? What do you mean? You said you didn't do anything. When we asked you specifically, did you do your homework? This guy's lying on the mic. We might have to kick him out of the building. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I'm pretty confident yeah, that I could. Yeah, you definitely could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, ah, see, he is a Shulk player. Oh, what the heck? We just want to summon this. Well, yeah. I don't know. Know. Oh, 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 all of us lost. I, I know. I'm sorry. It was painful to watch. Hey, to be fair, I took a stop. Okay. You, you got yours. And I just want to see Zeno Blade. Three versus three. No tactical SDs at the beginning of this match, even though I think Sassy should. Really an awful game, but that's not the point. <laughs> We're gonna see Shulk walling out Luigi here. His range really showing his inability to get in. Gets the misfire to save the stock. What a turn of events. The 10% chance. 30% chance? 30% chance. Yeah, it's, tr it's truly poorly designed. Yeah. 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 Same thing with Shulk though. Shulk's also bullshit. Not nearly as poorly designed as some other Xenoblade characters that I'll refrain from naming, but... Uh, I'm gonna say Speed Art, probably, or Shield. Alright, I'm gonna say probably Speed again, yeah. Shulk speed art not being quite as good as Heroes Accelerado, but being pretty good still nonetheless. The shield art coming out, the classic combo breaker, complete bullshit, not gonna lie. <laughs> and here's the smash art, hoping the to get the down art through the same. Uh, yeah, absolutely, I hate this character. I think it's re he's really stupid. Sassy making that really high vertical recovery. Remember. Remember, he still has he still has five more stocks to take to even this or to win this crew battle. So he's got quite a long way to go, unfortunately. We're seeing the four go. Sam was not good enough to even get onto the C team, so I don't think he's not good enough to get onto the C team. Well, <laughs> well, on a side note, I have some you're cooler than him. Sassy getting the next stock. No tech zone here. Peppers? I, uh, like just, like, just peppers, because he's like a fucking. Peppers. He's allergic to everything. Are you really allergic to like. Um. He's allergic to wheat. He's allergic to nuts. He's allergic to. I'm sorry, wheat? Yeah. I'm allergic to shield art. So, 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 I just like, like to read shield art is the worst thing that Nintendo has done since. Well, that's just that's false. That's not true at all. There are way more egregious things in this game, starting with Aegis as, an, as a character. Sassy, get, taking three socks, only losing one. 
bring U of R into a chance at winning this crew battle all together. It would be very funny. It would be really funny if they had to play a tiebreaker because every team won one and lost one. Yeah, well, you don't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excuse me, sir. What is it? Toby. 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 Hello, Toby. Toby. We love that. Toby is love a great that. name, and you should feel honored to have it. Yes. Shout out to Toby. Shout out to Toby. Is the T capitalized? No. Okay. Love to see that. I would have just probably not done it anyway. <laughs> Alright, we're in them. No, he's not playing. Is he playing Mavis? I think he. Is he playing Mavis? Mavis, Mavis. We're both named Michael. Michael! Oh, dude! It's the Michael Ditto, bro! I thought his name was Toby. His name does not need to be Toby. Oh, he's a Rob player. Yeah! Let it be known that Ben is the only one who shares that opinion. I think no, Rob No, I think Rob's pretty hype. I think Rob is really cool, and I don't get... Yeah, yeah. My brother plays Rob. Well, your brother's a nerd. He is. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Three, two, two, one. Go! Into the final game of this crew battle. Can Sassy take three stocks with only this two? This is a very volatile matchup. This is a very winnable matchup for Sassy. Fortunately, Rob does not... I still think it's very volatile. It is definitely volatile, but unfortunately, Rob is not just completely Waluigi. Like some other characters might have. <laughs> Wait, Nate, you're in chat? Hello, Nate. We have chatters. We have a chatter? No, no, that's Nate. Wait, you're on call. I'll call him. Who the fuck is Nate? Yeah, nobody knows who that is. I do. Well, no, nobody cares. This guy's just gonna break everything. Nate, you're on comms. Hey, Nate. Nate, you're on the mic. What's good? Yeah, you're on the stream right now. Yeah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on, yeah you can probably Wait, hear can you, us. Can you hear our voices? Uh, in, yeah, in the room, yeah. <laughs> cool. Is there anything you want to say to the people? Um, uh, fuck, fuck Rob, as he said in chat. Yes, sir! Sassy, like getting the right, up. Like making this a 2 2 Can he win this? The stocks are even. Unfortunately, the percent is not sassy. Very volatile player, though. He can even that up right now if he gets the combo. No! Goes for the misfire. Doesn't get it. Holy shit, this game is close. 50% difference. I don't think so. I think he wanted to call out the shield drop and get a misfire to end the stock early, but he didn't get it, unfortunately. He has to go for something ballsy. Gets the update! All of a sudden, this game is down to a one sock to two situation. Sassy has evened up the score. All he needs is one grab and one good combo to end this game right now. And then they are going into a tiebreaker where he probably has to play again. <laughs> Can he pull it out? Using his fireballs to an advantage, getting the combo, oh, missing the grab, getting back in, unfortunately put off stage, but he's proven that he can recover with this character extremely well. And he gets the LP on the game! Holy shit! Sassy, great player, winning the crew battle for U of R, bringing them back! Bringing them back from a 6-3 lead! Up top, Michael!